Hey guys, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. So today I have had some awesome stuff in the post. We literally just got back from San Francisco and while I was away I received a package from China. Uh, it's really dangerous for me like throwing this knife around, but we received some really cool stuff and I wanted something for Christmas a little bit different to fill up kind of my shelves which have like, at the moment they have like a Resident Evil Chainsaw, a Minecraft head, some Skylanders, etc. And I wanted something Clash of Clans related because I had nothing Clash of Clans. Now after searching on the internet, high and low, I found these. Oh yeah, look at that. So we've got the Barbarian King action figure and we've also got the Archer Queen action figure, which is pretty cool. I'll do some close-ups of these uh, at the end as well. But as you can see, the box has the Clash of Clans on the front. On the back it says two years of Clash, so these are like celebrating two years of Clash of Clans. Uh, the same for the Barbarian King one. And we're going to open these up right now. Now these were from China, so I don't know what kind of quality they're going to be. Uh, but it was really cool to be able to see them on and, uh, and get them. And I just feel that having something Clash of Clans related in kind of my storage area where you can see all my different stuff would be pretty cool. So let's pull her out. So this one here is the... There's nothing else in here, no? No. This one here is the Archer Queen. Uh, I don't think they had any others available. Like, I wanted troops, uh, but they had none others this size available. You could get, like, really small... Uh, a small barbarian, a small goblin, uh, funny enough, a small giant and stuff like that, but they didn't have any that were of this scale. I believe these are like six inches, so they're, I mean, they're pretty good size, and they won't look like ridiculous on my wall. Uh, but I wanted them all, like each character this size, but sadly they didn't do that. So, there's lots of packaging, and they look very well, they're very well packaged actually. Here is the Archer Queen, wow, okay, she's actually pretty heavy. Damn, that is really, really cool. Look at that. So that's actually really good quality. It's got a bit of weight to it. Uh, she's got her kind of purple hair, and she's got her hand out as well, ready to hold her bow. So let's put this in. Uh, I think it points down. Yeah, it does. There we go. There we go. So that is the Archer Queen right there. So again, she's about, I think it's about six inches. I think she's about five and a half inches, actually. And the King is six inches. At the end of the video, I'll do close-ups of them so you can see the quality. Uh, but it's made out of a kind of a textured plastic. And it looks really good. Like, I can't see any blemishes or anything on it. It really smells of plastic. Like, really smells of plastic. It doesn't smell nice. Like, you know when you open up, like, a new iMac or something? It smells amazing. This doesn't. Uh, this smells like plastic. So... That is the queen. Now it is time for the big guy himself, the Barbarian King. Now in this one, he is actually doing his kind of famous stance, I guess you'd say, uh, with his sword. So you get the sword with him as well. And he also has that huge iron fist um, ready and ready to go, which is pretty cool. So let's open this up. You could get another one. There was another stance of him holding the sword like up, like like that. Uh, but he well, he's holding it like that in this one because I think that's... That's the more like common pose that you see uh, if you see photos of the Barbarian King. So I don't need the knife anymore, so I can put that away before I cut myself. And here it is, the Barbarian King coming out. Damn, okay, so he is, he's really heavy actually, that's really surprising. So he's really heavy, uh, and you can see here he's got his big iron fist, he's wearing kind of these weird pants. Uh, they kind of look a little bit skin color, I wish they were a little bit browner, uh, but it's not too much of an issue. Uh, if we turn him down here, you can see the bottom, he does not have a, a willy or a bum. <laughs> He's been kind of wiped clean. And uh, yeah, so that's that. You also get a little stand as well, which uh, he stands on. Like, so? I don't know. He does He does stand on it somehow. I know, I'm going to have to do that in a bit. Uh, and then we also get the sword. I mean, I just like the sword as it is, the Clash of Clans sword. You can see it there. Uh, but he holds this in his hand. Just like man, I don't I don't know how I get these in. I don't want to break anything. So there we go, and that fits in like that. So there you go. He's got his sword. So what we'll do now is we'll put them on the table, put them together, and we'll do some close-ups of each one. So here is the Archer Queen close-up. As you can see, it looks absolutely fabulous. All of it looks amazing. Uh, there's hardly any blemishes. Like I couldn't see any when I was looking close at them. Uh, if we zoom in here on her face, you can kind of have a good view of it. And you can see how angry she looks. She looks she's got like a really devilish look to her face right there. Uh, you wouldn't want to mess with her. And as we're going down, giggity, uh, it actually looks really, really nice. And there's hardly, like in between here, I was expecting there to be a load of like uh, really bad paint or whatever. But as you can see, there's not. Uh, the arrow or the bow even looks really cool. And she sits happily on her kind of grass base like this. So if we go in and turn her around, let's just zoom out a little bit and turn around, you can see she's got her arrows in the back as well. 
uh, followed by her kind of cape here, which has dark dark colors in here to like signalize the shadowing, and it looks absolutely insane, along with a beautiful hair and a really nice crown. So I'm really happy with that. I think she looks absolutely great. And now if we bring out the king as well, uh, he's a little bit bigger. He is um, just, as you can see, if we put the queen kind of next to him, um, oh, you can't see that. Yeah, he's just a little bit bigger. Just agree with me there. But his face looks insane. Uh, again, he's got his beard, which actually protrudes off his face as well. So it's not just like painted on, which I was worried it was going to be. Uh, he's got a really cool uh, kind of satchel look thing on him. But then here comes down uh, to his belt. The belt looks awesome. I'm just not happy about the pants. I wish the pants were kind of a dark, dark brown, kind of like nearly this brown. Uh, but they're kind of orange. And when you go down, he goes onto his stand. Now, I've had some serious <laughs> troubles trying to get this guy onto his stand, uh, which is why his kind of right foot is slightly off. So I need to open his legs a little bit more uh, and get him on there. So this here is his sword. Probably the most iconic thing in Clash of Clans is the Clash of Clans Barbarian Sword. That's the one issue I found is there's one tiny bit of plastic there, but I think I can peel that off uh, and it will bring back like a gray look after it. And did you go up? He's holding it in his hand there, and it looks absolutely awesome. So another cool thing about the king, obviously, is his iron fist, which we can see here. And the iron fist itself looks really, really cool. And he's got that massive shoulder on him as well. So let's turn this big guy around and have a look. Oh, actually, I can kind of show the size difference. There you go. So you can kind of see there that the king is uh, quite a bit taller. So let's turn him around and have a look at the back. Uh, it's a pretty basic, really. He's got his sandals comes up he's got the kind of satchel thing around his back he's got his hair and his ears showing along with his crown so that's all guys i just wanted to show you these up close and personal and see what you thought leave a comment down below whether you guys would buy stuff like this i wish clash of clans made loads of products themselves but sadly they don't but i think they definitely should so leave a comment down below hit the like button until next time guys peace out